CNBC says that 73% of Americans rank finance as the number one stress in their life. Let's figure out how we can reduce that stress. Hey, it's Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers, where we don't just invest your dough. We also like to educate you on your dough. So check this out. CNBC right here says that 73% of Americans rank their finances as the number one stress in life. Uh, this is actually according to a new Capital One credit report. I get it. Finance is stressful. You know, the market, as the market continues to fall, everybody has uh, just all this uncertainty. They don't know when to invest their money. If you are retired, you're freaking out because you're saying, well, I've got to live on this. It's got to last me the rest of my life. What if it all goes away? Well, let's look at a few different tips, a few different things that we need to talk about to make sure that you're not creating this massive stress for you. Now, the first one is one that, you know, I'm just going to tell you the facts on this. It's the rabbit hole. Be careful with the rabbit hole. There's a uh, platform that you may be watching right this second that it has an algorithm. It knows what you are watching and what it does is try to feed you more of what you watch. Well, unfortunately, that's the rabbit hole that if you start to go down and you are not careful, it's going to only show you what you are watching and you continue to watch. It's going to think that, hey, you want to watch more of this and more of this and more of this. So be careful with that because if I were to sit there and Google something that talked about, you know, the world is ending and then I would start to get, you know, all kinds of different things. I'd even jump on Facebook and then I'd start to see ads that pop up, probably all kinds of different articles on this or sponsored ads showing me, trying to sell me a book on the world is ending. It's the rabbit hole that you have to be cautious of. If you were stressed about money and you're looking at all these different things about, you know, well, what happens if the market continues to fall? What if the dollar goes away? There's all of these things that can come into play. Be careful with that. That's the first thing. Second thing that I want to talk about is it's pretty basic for a lot of people, but so many people I've found don't have it. And it's a financial plan. A financial plan is a strategy to really stick to when it comes to getting to where you want to be financially. Now, if you're in your early years, it's all about just making sure you're saving the right amount. If you are in retirement years, it's all about making sure the money you have is going to last. That's a financial plan. That's what you need to focus on making sure that you have. I mean, what, what person goes through life without planning different things? You know, you, when you go to your job, you know, there's a plan on what you need to complete that day or whatever the case is. You have to plan things. Finance is the same way. Make sure you're doing a financial plan to see where you need to be, whether that be on your own through free websites or contacting. I know of, you know, some people that do that. But all right, so through that one, the next thing that I want to talk about is stress testing your financial plan. So this is something cool that we do with our clients here. So if you check this out right here, this is a stress test. What this allows you to do is say, okay, here's how much you have right here. This is your baseline of the probability of success in retirement. Looks at a thousand scenarios, the market's going up and down. Are you going to make it or not? Well, what happens if the market drops immediately? There's different options for you here to really look at this to make sure that you are going to still stay on track. That's something that, especially in a volatile market, if you have something like a stress test, this allows you to say, you know what? I know if the market falls 20% tomorrow, I'm still going to be okay. If that's not the case, then you have to make some adjustments. So that's another one that you gotta watch out for. The next one is live within your means. It's basic, right? Come on, guys. It's living within your means sounds so simple, yet it can be so difficult at times. And, you know, it kind of goes back to the whole financial plan and everything else, but it's really just starting to, to capture where you are living within your means. Younger people, this relates to a lot more. When you're in your retirement years, you still have to live within your means, but hopefully you've saved enough to meet the goals of living how you want to live. And in your younger years, though, sometimes, you know, you, you forget about this and it's the YOLO mentality or whatever you want to call it, and you end up spending a lot more than, you know, you want. So the final one that I want to go over, this is solely for those getting towards retirement and in the retirement years. It's the probably the biggest mistake that I see a lot of times. You have a financial plan and everything is built. You've stress tested your plan. Everything is good. You're living within your means. All is good with this, but maybe you've started to go down the rabbit hole. 
maybe you've started to see all of these doomsday things and how you're going to lose all of your money. And even though everything else says it's okay, you're worried. I get it. We're human. That's human nature. There's emotion that comes into play on this. But what ends up happening is you try to go ultra conservative with all of this excess money that you have, not money that you need tomorrow, excess money. And what ends up happening is it actually costs you part of the legacy. A lot of people want to build a legacy and leave money to their children or their charities or whatever that case is. The more conservative you are today and worrying about tomorrow, oftentimes it is actually going to cost when it comes to the legacy. So make sure you're you're not stressing that and doing that. You know, make sound financial decisions. If you have questions, you're looking for somebody that can help guide you on this, that's what we do here at Jazz. So just let me know, reach out, we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.